Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to just have kind of a chit chat, chaotic chit chat, <laughs> some chaotic chit chat today. Um, if you would like to see how I got this look, um, we talked about some project, my, some project pan stuff and what is new for my channel and everything new with this year because it's a new year. I don't know when this will be going up, but I just have fun. I did makeup. I feel beautiful. Before I jump into this makeup look, I just want to introduce myself really quickly for anybody who is new. My name is Haley. Here are my socials, and this is my realm of creativity, where I mainly focus on makeup and fantasy related things. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing and becoming a companion on my makeup quest. My upload schedule is chaotic, um, so just go follow me on my socials to be notified of when I upload. <laughs> and now, let's get into the video. Hello, good morning guys. I'm trying out lots of things, and, well, not makeup wise, um, I wanted to say good morning, but it's not morning, it's like, I think 2 o'clock now. But I woke up really late, so um, it just feels like it's a morning time for me. I'm trying out some new video stuff. Uh, I changed my camera settings and my phone a little bit and have rearranged my room and redid my beauty space and stuff like that. And talk to you guys. I didn't want to put... Bippity. Boppity boo. Um, I didn't want to like make an entire like dedicated like video to any sort of like project pan stuff and I've been consuming a lot more of that content recently. It was never really something that was interesting to me until like I was thinking about my collection and how I want to grow it and I think what's best for me would be to kind of um show you what I'm going to try to be using before I'm going to be bringing anything in and I have some cheek products, some oh, some cheek products, some eyeshadow palettes that I want to use up before I'm bringing anything else that I want in um, because there are things that I like when I was making my wish list for Christmas it was like three four pages long and I like ranked it on like want to like stocking stuffers so like want was like kind of larger ticket items. It could have been small, but like something that I really, really wanted. And then like the other two to three pages was just kind of like filler, like stuff that I saw everybody else had and that it would be nice to have just because I've seen it. And I, it, it was just, it, I came to the realization that this is just not stuff that I actually want. So I made a small list of palettes um, in particular. There are two things that technically aren't like eyeshadow palettes that I want. I basically just wanted to condense and, and make a list that was just my wants and that ended up just being like 13 things. Um, so that's still a lot and I'm sure that there'll be things that I add on to it over time but I want to make sure that I'm using what I already have before I'm going on that list and purchasing anything. After I kind of like palette myself out of like these are the palettes that I absolutely want and that have always stayed on my list and that have always um, been at front of mind when I'm thinking of purchasing something is after after I you know kind of fill those fill those holes in my heart um, I think I'm gonna just pad out with singles I'm more interested in singles anyway there are I feel like there's a lot more um, versatility to themselves um I think and they're just a lot uh, because you get to choose what I have not put a lick of makeup on my face and five and since I've started ranting my bangs are gonna be crazy because I I just cut them so there's a lot of short hairs right now um I just think that pa um there are palettes that I feel like I would like every shade in um but it's not always guaranteed and there's palettes that I know that I'm only getting for one shade and I think that that's wasteful and I don't want to be doing that and 
I just want to limit the waist that I have. So I'm just trying to be more mindful and not get caught up in the like wanting everything that everybody else has sort of mentality, which I just don't want to get caught up in that. It's not my thing. It never has been. Um, and I was starting to feel like, that's better. I was starting to feel like um, it was kind of happening and I was like, where is this coming from? So I had to take a step back, look exactly what I wanted and, and kind of make like a, a list of things that, you know, if I never picked this up, would I still be longing after it? And if the answer was yes, then I put it on the list. And that like four page wish list went down to not even a full half page. Quite a nice, it was just relieving, like, cause I felt like I didn't have to play catch up anymore because I wasn't gonna get everything that everybody else had. I also don't have the money for it and I don't have the time to be like reviewing products or anything so i wanted to make sure that i was putting products on the list that i wanted and that i didn't just want for review if you guys want to know what's on my list you can definitely ask me but i just don't think that it's like a like video worthy thing i like i said it's pretty small i haven't went into like making a singles wish list either because like that's brand by brand and I don't want to do that until like I see exactly what I'm working with um in my after I get like the palettes that I want it's gonna be a pretty chaotic video I figured that I would just start like filming these and putting them up what's wrong Bubba? um I just figured that I would start um filming the like getting ready for like my day and stuff on the weekend because I, I'm probably going to end up scaling back some of my makeup content anyway. Like my true, true makeup content. I'm starting to shit focus on um, the other things that I want to do. Tomorrow I have my, um, I'm filming my first um, fear space of the year. And it's the reindeer. I can say that because it will go up before this. I'm hoping I have to get it. I'm going to get it up on Thursday. And then if I feel like I need like a buffer video between now and when I upload my first, I don't know if I'm going to name it a series, but it's going to be like a series where I like read a book by a female author and then like kind of deep dive into that author and the book and like just my overall thoughts in general, kind of like a, a book review, <laughs> um, you would say, and um, uh, fantasy, mainly fantasy. I want to focus on female authored fantasy uh, books and female authors representate, represented in like media and stuff like that and like what makes a successful female author. I'm, I'm almost done with that book. Um, but I don't know how long it's going to take to like write the script and kind of what I want to touch on. So I might put this up as a buffer video, but yeah. I am filming my um, Reindeer Fear Space tomorrow. I just need to finish the research and pat it out, make sure that I have enough. Um, I need to look up their conservation status and that's it. I wanted to get this up in December, but a lot of things happened in December and I I tossed and turned about whether or not I should put it off and just do it next December because like I did it reindeer because you know, Christmas. Um, but I have the research already and I have, um, I, I, I just didn't have the time to do like, I'm, new research on another animal and I have it fresh in my head so why would I you know pick a different one because I had finally like the look for the reindeer inspired makeup look came to me at work and I like did a really 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 rough sketch um of like what I was aiming to do what I'm gonna aim to do I haven't done it yet um hopefully give me luck that it goes well not the most ambitious thing I've ever done, but it's pretty ambitious and I don't know how it's going to go, so I'm nervous. And 
stuff like that, like the makeup look that I'm going to do, I just want to challenge myself to do more creative things with my makeup. Um, it's just, I, I made myself into like a really colorful robot the other night, just like playing with my makeup and it was a, a struggle in the best way because I was learning something new and I was like, it was dumb of me to not do like a reference photo so i'm gonna like start doing that i've been watching a lot of Pontberry, and i have a couple of her videos saved so i can like try and practice what she does um a couple of things um a couple of looks that she's done i feel like i could do as practice and then i took some good pictures of my face so i'm gonna try and do like some face mapping stuff so I can plan looks and I am just really excited and I am just I'm so excited can you tell I'm excited I have like three cups of coffee and I was just like ready to go all right my eyes are primed which means we're into the first kind of things and I'm hoping to get through this year um, I have a couple of goals for myself depending on the product and I am hoping to pan three and this is a lofty goal for somebody who only does really makeup on the weekends but I think I can do it I think I can do it <laughs> um I'm hoping to pan three different eyeshadow palettes first one um is gonna be my priority um because this was the first makeup palette that really like set off my love for makeup and it was I got it as a Christmas gift when it released and it was really just like the beginning for me and I have just been kind of growing my collection since then and I haven't given it enough love and there were always some shades in here that I, I just didn't know how to wear or I didn't know what to do and since I've been following more people and seeing more looks and saving more inspiration stuff I I have a lot more um, faith in myself that I can start using every shade in this palette and that's my Jackie Ina palette and I'm really hoping to pan this entire palette um, by July July 4th 4th of July let's do that the 4th of July um, and I have faith in myself. These tones are really, really up my alley now. I like a lot darker looks. I like um, just richer, richer looks now. And, and before, I just didn't know what to do with this palette. I love this palette. Sponsored was always one of my favorites. And Trust Issues, I loved those. But like, I didn't know what to do with the rest of those palette, with the rest of the shades in this palette. So now that I've just, I just keep hitting it. Now that I have done makeup for longer, I just have more of an understanding of what I can do and not just put a transition shade in my crease and deepen it on the outer V and put a shimmer on the lid. Like, I have a lot more, like, knowledge of different types of eye looks that I can do with, with this palette. And the next two that I'm gonna give myself a year to pan. I'm gonna I'm gonna start on this now, and and go through December. Is um, these two LA Girl palettes? Um, the quality isn't bad. I'm just not reaching for them anymore. This is the palette I use for my wedding day. They can go back and you can see it. I loved the look that I made with this. Um, I just I want. Like I said, to challenge myself, there's a lot of nice shades in here and I want to use them and I want to be inspired by these palettes. My Creative Jesus Flowing and I feel like these three palettes give me enough versatility to um, make really almost any look I want. Like, and even if I need to dip into another palette, like my goal is to my goal is to use at least one of these palettes every single time I sit down. Um, and you know, I might I might get creative. I might use this something as a contour. I might use something as a blush. Um, I might use something as a highlight. Like, 
I, I my goal is just to use these palettes in my collection and and challenge myself so I don't know what I look I'm going to do today I yeah I think I'm gonna do purple I haven't done purple in a minute what are you doing all the way over there dude I'm gonna do like a pinky purple look not super pink but not not pink how have you guys been it's the new year um this is filmed today is the eighth I believe maybe the ninth and I don't really want to talk about what happened earlier this week um if you can tell I'm in a good mood and I don't want to compromise that good mood um because why why would I do that it's just it was a hard day and we'll we'll leave it at that um it was just a very difficult day in the United States and it's the weekend now and we're just thankful that he's banned from Twitter and we'll leave it at that if you guys would like to chat about it in the comments you can I'm not gonna stop you um, I just particularly don't want to talk about it because I don't want to cry and yeah I'm trying to expand my YouTube things and I'm kind of nervous I'm growing and that that makes me really happy like I'm at 36 subscribers now and I started the year with 33 so that's three people that I found right three 36 yep yeah, mm -hmm. it's three um I've been having really bad math moments <laughs> math moments lately like real bad the game beauty palette has gotten a lot of good reviews so far so I'm excited to kind of like work on panning these so like when I bring it in um, I'm not gonna feel too bad about it and I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be the first thing that I buy this year just because like palette wise that's gonna be the first thing that I buy I already have a Sephora cart full of some skincare because I'm like running low. I ran out of my niacinamide last night and I ran out of my mm, lactic acid last night. So yeah, I'm just, uh, oh, the only thing that I have makeup wise in my basket is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. Um, because I've heard really good things about it and I just I, I think that that would be a good place to start as far as like a brow pen if you guys um, saw my video about um, products that I wanted products and brands I wanted to try in 2021 that was one of them and um, I just figured since I had a gift card that I would try it I don't know if I'm in frame. I don't know like what kind of noises you're picking up or if I look like a robot because I changed like my motion settings uh, and like my quality on my film, on my phone. I've already mentioned this, I'm sure. And so everything looks like a lot smoother, but also like unnaturally smooth. So I'm trying that out. And I'm also just trying to talk as much as humanly possible. I think I'm gonna try and do a voiceover for my fierce face. I've never done one before, but sometimes it's just hard for me to do makeup and talk at the same time. Sometimes it's even hard for me to just talk. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to do my makeup and talk. A lot of beauty YouTubers talk about this. Um, it's it's hard to focus on on both um, sometimes. And I just, I want to make sure that I'm speaking as clearly as I can, especially when I'm like trying to give you guys animal facts. <laughs> and I want to make sure that I'm not like misconstruing or like I'm speaking clearly on, on what I'm trying to, to say. And that's pretty important to me. And see, I just, 
I just mumbled. And, um, thanks, Dad. I'm a mumbler. He doesn't watch my videos. If he does, Dad, comment down below. Did he comment? He didn't comment. You know why? Because he doesn't watch my videos. I'm never going to look like this before. At least I don't think so. Sometimes I say I'm never going to look like this before. And I genuinely, like, think that I don't. And then... Mm, my brain's like, but do you, would you remember if you had? And I'm like, you're right. I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't remember. Yeah, so I've just been um, really falling asleep with, like, looks inside my head. Just trying to figure out what in my collection do I have that I can make these looks. And keeping in mind that I'm, like, trying to, I'm trying to, like, pan this. I, I've just been thinking of those colors and looks that I can do with these colors and trying to, trying to, I don't know. I always have like a busy brain when I go to sleep and that like kind of helps to plan out looks when I'm about to go to bed. Anybody else do that? Anybody? Comment down below how you fall asleep. Some of you may be noticing I'm using a new mascara. I am. My Essence ones, I don't know if they went bad or if like my eyes just got sensitive to them, but they were really irritating my eyes. Not like I was getting like styes or anything, just like I... I couldn't wear my makeup for a long time because I, like, needed to take it off. Like, my eyes were just, like, really irritated and itchy. And so I just was like, okay, well, I need to figure out if I'm going to get a new mascara. And for a while, I was thinking, like, maybe Lancome Big and I, Monsieur Big. Blah, 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 blah. The Monsieur, Monsieur Big mascara from Lancome. A lot of people like that. And I was like, that's really expensive and then Jackie Anna was doing like a drugstore video and she used a stiletto and I was like yes queen whatever you say so I got this and so far I really like it um it built really nicely I'm not having that weird eyelash problem that I had with the mascara so I don't know if my lashes have just grown or it was the mascara that was fucking everything up, you know? I've been tightlining my waterline, and I always forget to tightline my waterline. <laughs> so, let's see if I can do that. It's probably going to be a struggle, because my eyes hate to be tightlined, like, real much. Like, this one's fine. This one hates it. I just stabbed myself in the eye. I've been waiting for forever. For this to come in stock at my CVS and it is the supposed to be illuminating dewy version of the pro coverage line they have a foundation that's a matte foundation it's um pro coverage matte and I saw this and I was like I really wasn't going to get any foundation soon but because I did just get like this elf hydrating camo concealer which you guys I have not seen yet um, because I why was I gonna get this I don't remember um, but they they have this and then I saw these and I know that I saw Pontberry use this um, to lighten her foundation shade and I was like I want to do more like colorful like base makeup and I didn't know if maybe how opaque this was. It's not very, so I was kind of disappointed. Um, so I got these two. Why did I get the blue? Because I was hoping that it would be more opaque. It wasn't. Um, so I'm just going to experiment and see kind of what it does to foundations that no longer um, match me. So. Um, and I got the lightest shade in the foundation. So we're going to see how that goes, too. Um, I was looking at, um, I don't want to spill too much. 
of like videos that I want to do because what if they never happen but um I'm, I'm trying to do like a a look back on like the fantasy that inspired me when I was a kid and like kind of made me obsessed with fantasy world building magic stuff like that um like I'm trying to look back and see like what started it all and kind of stuff like in, in that kind of thing kind of like Abby Williamson is like doing like fast forwards to different things in like her YouTube career and like her life and stuff like that like she's very nostalgic so I wanted to like kind of bring that some of that nostalgia to my channel um and see what started everything and so I, I asked my mom I was like hey what was the first thing that I watched as a kid that was like fantasy and she's like the 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 the, the, the dark crystal and um <laughs> I was like really she's like yeah you were drawing Skeksis when you were three and I was like creepy cool all right um like I knew I'd use Skeksis but I always thought it was like kindergarten first grade no it was three and I it's fascinating but also kind of slightly disturbing you know, just, just a smidge, and I was like, I want to do more character art kind of stuff, and I was like, I could totally experiment doing a Delphine, and I was thinking, I was getting references for the new show and stuff like that, and I was looking at their skin, and, <laughs> and I just, um, thinking makeup wise, I was like, that kind of looks like Juno Birch's skin and if for those of you who don't know Juno Birch is a gorgeous lovely hilarious drag queen that um gained popularity last year I believe during quarantine and she really blew up and I was like maybe I'll just like tweet at her and maybe she'll reply and I'll see what kind of makeup she uses and not really expecting anything and she did. She res she responded, and like the makeup that she got, um, that she recommended to me was not very expensive. So I just wanted something that I could play with. So I got this, but I'm probably gonna just end up purchasing exactly what she uses and and just dive from there. Um, I not that like I thought they were expensive and wanted like a cheaper alternative. I just wanted an alternative that I didn't have to order right away and that I could practice with these before I got the other ones. But I don't really think that's gonna be an option, but it's fine. All right, we are trying out this foundation. I swatched the blue on the back of my hand yesterday and it was so, so fragranced. I'm really hoping that this isn't like super fragranced either and I'm giving it a fair shot like I have everything moisturized you saw and I got the lightest shade I don't know if I mentioned that and I have been using my sponge why I don't I can't tell you um because I just wanted to well I can't I just wanted to um experiment with different techniques and I love my BK is this the 201 no the 101 I love my BK 101 um but I, I, I just need to clean it <laughs> frankly and I am lazy so that hasn't happened yet this says that it's a medium to full coverage and right off the bat I would say it's medium to full coverage is it gonna break me out I don't know we are gonna see. I haven't used any concealer because I want to see how it performs on its own and I haven't looked at it up close so I don't know what's going on there. This is all new to me. So far I think the match is okay. I always like my arms are really dark, my chest is pretty dark, and then my neck is a lot lighter than everybody else. Every everybody else. Every other part of my body. I'm just confused by that. It's fine. This looks really nice. It is a lot darker than than my neck right now, but that's fine. 
I'm just bringing up my temples. I don't really bring anything on my forehead most of the time because my bangs, so there's really no point. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel caked. It's nice. It's a little yellow. I don't know how this is the lightest shade. It's a shade fair. Should I try and lighten this up a little bit? It was probably way too much. It toned it down a lot. Wow. Okay. Just put some on my cheek a little bit. I'm putting just a little bit more on than I normally would. Like I would normally stop here. I just want to see how much I can modify the color. I really don't like bringing things down my neck. So, if I ever need to correct, like, a color, I use Jackie Ina's trick of just taking my bronzer down my neck, and that normally works for me in particular, so. But I don't, I don't think that that's too bad, now that I've kind of, like, modified it. It looks darker in the center, so I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. Just taking a little bit of concealer. Aw, oh, I didn't highlight underneath. It's fine. It's whatever. I don't know how I feel about the hydrating camo yet. Like, the first time I wore it, like, I absolutely loved it. And then I just, I don't know, man. I just didn't like it the second time. And then the third time I liked it. And then, I don't know, it's just hit and miss, I guess. I don't know if I just, like, wait too long to blend it out sometimes or what. But, like, now I, I love it. It's gorgeous. A+. Plus. I am going to take down my bangs. We're not saying anything about my hair. All right, guys? We, I, I know it's a mess. So, yeah, guys, this looks great. I think I'm really impressed with this so far. We're going to see if I can like tweak the shade with like my tweakers now that I own shade tweakers. Now that I have my shade like customizers, I'm really excited to kind of play around and see what I can what I can do with the foundations that I have. Because I have I didn't want to do like a makeup inventory, but in momento. I technically have five, but I have kind of decluttered this Photofocus stick in Shell Ivory. It's just way too light for me, and I don't like the finish uh, as foundation. So I kept it for that kind of character experimentation type of makeup that I'm going to try and do. I kept it for that because I thought that it would be good i'll probably end up re-decluttering it if i don't end up using it for the character makeup but total i have four i have this new one i have the physician's formula one which smells like wet bread yeah i just i it just smells like wet bread like i don't even know if this is good or not i just i hate it smells like wet bread this is the oldest foundation I have, and I'm going to use this up um, very, very soon, especially if I can get, like, my shade right. I love the finish on this by itself. It used to be a mix-in um, when I wanted more coverage with this, and this is almost done, too. So I will, I'll be getting rid of both of these by the end of the year. I'm not going to bring, bring another foundation in um, besides this one um before the end of the before the end of the year i'm gonna try and put myself on the same timeline um as the as the as the jackie Anna palette to have these done by july so 
I can bring in a, a new thing kind of mid-year to, to start um, working on until the next mid-year and, and have that new product on whatever I decide to bring in foundation wise. Um, and I'll probably bring in two, a lighter coverage and a more medium coverage or really, I don't really know yet. I, mean, I have my eye on the OMA and then I have my eye on another one. I can't remember. No memory guys, remember that. <laughs> remember I have no memory um the Oma one's the only one that's coming to mind but um now that I have those I'm definitely gonna be finishing these very soon yes I am I'm floored by how my base looks like floored short little makeup inventory I am really hoping to pan both of these if not pan this one at least 75%. Uh, this one, I'm already really close. Like, I can't twist this up anymore. Like, this is as tall as it goes. It, it, that's as tall as it goes. It, it, as soon as it's level, I'm not going to be using it anymore. And to make that go any f even faster, I'm going to try a technique today that I tried with blush last time I did my makeup. I didn't film it. I might have taken pictures if I did. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. If I didn't, there won't be anything. Um, that I was trying to think of, I was trying to think, I was trying to see if the technique that Patrick Ta has with like his dual blushes, like his cream and powder, a lot of people say that he wants you to go over the cream, go over the powder with the cream and that was very fascinating to me and I wanted to see if that just works in regular application or if there's something special and unique to his formula that would allow it to work because a lot of people are very afraid to put cream over powder like once you put powder down like you don't go back over that with a cream and I'm sure that there's something um that makes them work together in that way that you can do that uh it's probably riskier with like just a straight up liquid um but i tried it and i loved it with my blush and i'm i'll do that again today but i am going to start using my powder bronzer and my powder blush first and then going over that with the cream versions of those um, and I think that's just going to help me use my product more. I layer products anyway, so it's not that big of a deal for me to be using multiple products. I'm not just, uh, I usually, usually, like 98% of the time, use more than one blush. And, and to have that dimen dimension when I'm doing bronzer too is just like A+. plus. So that is what I'm going to start doing. And we'll see how that works with my bronzer. Because I already know it works with... I already know it works with um, my blush and I'll show you there's one powder blush that I'm hoping to pan and then one and then I'm hoping to honestly pan all my cream blushes that I have but there's one powder bl blush in particular that I'm really hoping to pan so I've also started watching, there's a girl who introduced me to Pompberry. She, they both did like Marceline looks. I think her name is Madeline. Almost positive her name is Madeline. And they both like put stuff on their chin. And so I've started doing that just to kind of see how I like it. But I'm not, I'm not. 100% sold on it yet, so I don't know. And I always like to go heavy with my cheek and eye looks too, so it's not gonna be, I don't feel like it, I don't feel super challenged to like pan anything because I don't think that it's gonna be super hard for me to pan anything. I think I'm gonna do both the blush and the bronzer first and then go in with the with the cream versions of that. So the powder version that the powder blush that I'm hoping to pan is this um, Steve Laurent blush in the shade 
rose all day it's one of my all-time favorite blushes this is what it looks like and i don't know how if you can like see but i'm on the verge of pan i feel it in my bones that i'm going to hit pan on this very soon and i never noticed but there's a teeny tiny little mirror <laughs> who's using that anyway um I've had this for a really long time. I got it in an Ipsy bag and it was my favorite blush for a really long time and I used it every single time I did my makeup and I still love the color. I, I think it I think it suits me really well. I just want to bring different things into my collection and I don't want to feel guilty about bringing new things into my collection without using the things on my own. So um, that is just where I'm at right now in my journey and then I don't know how many singles I'm going to use this brush for my blush but it's fine I don't know how many like singles I'm I'm gonna bring in to be quite honest I'm using my sponge for my creams I loved the way my blush looked when I did this the other day, so I'm hoping that I can replicate it, and I'm hoping that it looks the same with my brown fairy. It just looked so, like, I don't know, juicy and dimensional and airbrushed, and it just looked really nice. So I'm just going under that. Looks a little muddy right now, Haley. Then I'm going to bring in a I think the Tantor and the Vesca bronzer maybe and then there was another bronzer I wanted and I think that that would be fine if I if I panned both of these or if I panned my milk and 75% of my physician's formula I would I'd feel fine with I just, it looks so smooth, you guys. I, I challenge you guys to try this. Like, it goes against everything, like, us beauty people talk about. Like, oh my gosh, you put a cream on top of a powder. Do you want your foundation to lift? No. But, it didn't. It didn't lift. And, I'm just, I was shocked when I did it. And I'm just trying to pan as many of these tiny little AOA cream blushes as I can. If I could pan all of them, that would be great. If I could pan, you know, 70% of them, because I have a lot of them. I have, I'll show you in a minute. I have a lot of them. It also helped my, um, like, cheek color last a long ass time. It was a long, long ass time that's a lot of blush on your nose man i think my cheeks are gorgeous i don't know if i want to ruin this with highliner and i know and i'm sure there's people that are like ruin it with highlighter how dare you say such a blasphemous thing um but sometimes i think my cheeks just reflect uh, enough light as it is <laughs> So, let's see how many cream blushes I have. I have eight cream blushes from AOA. I genuinely use all of them. So, there's not like any that I feel like I could declutter. And, it, like, honestly, if I could get down to three before the summer, that'd be grand. I'd be, I'd be stoked. Yeah, I, I just... Those are the things that I'm really wanting to use up. I don't think there's any lip. Yeah, I don't think there's any lip products that I want to use up. I, I, I mean, as many as I can. I don't really bring a lot of lip products in, but I, I really do want to, like, get some Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipsticks and just their bullet lipsticks and... And, and branch out into different glosses and stuff so I probably will be trying to to get rid of some of these and a lot of them are the same 
kind of tones. So I could get rid of a lot of them. My nose is running like crazy. I got this Wet n Wild lipstick. That's supposed to be matte, and I just don't know if I feel like it is. Or if maybe it's like just super drying. I don't. I don't know, man. Yeah, I didn't want to make like a project pan or anything like that because I don't wear makeup like every day. So I'm not going to be making like a buy makeup weekly bag or anything. And I love those um, videos. I've been watching a lot of Tara Brooks and. Um, Kyla Fish and and they do a lot of those but I just don't wear makeup to work so there's really no point in me makeup making videos like that uh I just I wanted to rethink my collection how I want to proceed bringing things into my collection and what I'm not giving enough love to and I think that that I did a good job of that. I'm doing the gloss because I have like a major dry patch right here. Let me know. I would like to know what your guys' like toothpaste are. I have a lot of whitening toothpaste, but like I drink a lot, a lot of coffee. And my teeth are just like always stained. And it doesn't matter, like, how much I brush my teeth. They just always are stained. So, I would like to know what toothpaste you guys use. Please and thank you. And that's really all for me. And I think that this was a successful video. It was very all over the place. But I got a lot done. I said a lot of things. <laughs> I talked a lot. Which is a struggle for me. And... Why, while it was chaotic and while I had some fumbles talking, I filmed it and I spoke to you guys and I just, I'm not going to belittle like the small victories that I have, especially in this realm and things that I want to do and things that make me feel better. Filming, talking to you guys, just spewing things. That was a bad choice, but I'm I, I'm sticking with it. Just talking to you guys, it makes me feel good, and it it doesn't matter if if it was all over the place. I'm really trying to be more mindful of like what you guys can hear because I have a lot of stuff and I don't want to hear clanging all the time, and I am just trying to I don't know be better YouTuber. Trying to get more into Instagram and Twitter and the things. So go follow me on there. Alright, my energy is draining. I need to go drink some more coffee. And probably eat my lunch. I had a very late breakfast. It's probably lunch time for me now. If you like this video, please like. Please subscribe. I am so excited for this year. And... Um, if there's any books you guys are interested in me reviewing and um, stuff like that, I do already have like an ongoing list, so I, I'll probably just add it to the list. Um, but I, I always want to see kind of what female fantasy stuff that you guys are into. And I told you guys to, to try the um, powder cream thing and, and see if your products work like that and see if your products work well together in that kind of reverse order that we've been taught. I am really happy that I just like kind of went for it that one day and now I'm just like almost never looking back because I love, love how it looks. My skin just looks so airbrushed, you guys. It just looks so airbrushed and, and I, I, I challenge you guys to try it. So, and, and, and let me know, tag me, send me a message. I want to see it because I'm sure it'll look gorgeous. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. I know I said that already. I need to get some lunch. Like this video, subscribe, and, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!